we are now on the road to 200 subscribers. So be sure to subscribe and leave a like because I make NBA content just like this every single day. So there, there's your reason right there. All right, what is going on? Welcome back to this Miami Heat, my league, NBA 2K20 roster, my league. Now, last episode, yeah, we made a couple trades. Didn't work out. We're 19 and 33. Pretty bad record. As you can see, our team's looking like Justice Winslow, Fournier, Butler, Love, Adebayo, Schroeder. The team's pretty damn different, all right? If you are very confused on why the team looks like this, go check out last episode, the pilot episode. Link's in the description. Also, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Make NBA content and Madden content. Every single day, once 2K20 comes out, the, Mad the Madden content is going to slow down, but I'm still going to make it, alright? I'm still a 2K dominant channel, don't you worry. But it turns out 80% of you aren't subscribed watching this video. So you, you should probably, you know, turn that subscribe button gray instead of having it be red, alright? Just, just a little side note for you. But, we're terrible. We're absolutely horrific. Uh, I don't know why we're this bad, but we are. We are currently... Third to last in the conference. Yeah, so big, big trades are going to be made either at the trade deadline or on draft night. As of now, Dennis Schroeder's our leading scorer. Yeah, he's better. He's averaging more points than Jimmy Butler. That's not good. That should not be a thing. But the fact that he is averaging that many points, he might be staying on this team. He could be our point guard. This is off the bench, by the way. He's dropping 19 a game. But, Jimmy Butler is somewhat disappointing, actually, not really. 19 points a game, 2 steals, 48%, 40%. That's not bad. Kevin Love, 17 and 10, that's really what I expected from him. Fournier dropping 15. Winslow's actually not having a terrible season, but he will probably get traded, honestly. He's just not that, we just need scorers. Tally Hero is picking it up. I am going to field offers for Winslow. I don't think I'm going to trade him, but I will field offers for Winslow. And KCP, you know, so that contracts kind of match up. Zach Levine. If I'm really looking to build, you know, a good team, we might have to do this trade. This is also supposed to be somewhat realistic, so maybe I can't, shouldn't do this trade because they wouldn't do this in real life. I'm trying to do, a, like, a realistic. I keep forgetting that aspect of it. So, we... Does he have a player option? No, so why is he saying he's not a test free agency? You're still on here, bro. You ain't leaving. So I'm just going to sim to the end of the season, alright? Do we have any all-stars, by the way? I highly doubt it. I honestly doubt it. Uh, we have Kevin Love. Kevin Love was an all-star, but Jimmy Butler wasn't. That makes no sense, but whatever, we'll go with it. We're going to sim to the end of the season. Actually, is that a shoulder running for six-man? He has to be in the running for six-man. Has to be. Yeah, so we might get six-man of the year. I don't know. That's a very, very big possibility. I'll see you at the end of the season. All right, coming up to the end of the season, we are going to finish with 38 wins. No, 37 and 45. We did do a lot better. LeBron James wins MVP. We did a lot better, all right? We did a lot better. We did get six men in the year in Dennis Schroeder. And no one really else we got. I highly doubt we made the playoffs. There was a chance we could have, but we lost way too many games. Chris Paul, all NBA first team. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Kyrie, we got everyone here. We're obviously not going to get anyone. We might get Jimmy on all defensive first. Nope, second team. No, but Jimmy didn't make it, but Justice Winslow made it. He yeah, averaged a steal and a half and a block. All right, Justice. I don't know how you made it over, what you would call it, Jimmy Butler. But Tyler Hero made all rookie team. We made the playoffs. Wow. We... We actually made the playoffs. Somehow the Raptors were the first seed without Kawhi. Alright, I don't get how this works. They were playing Van Vliet at shooting guard. Pascal just went off. We actually made the playoffs. Unbelievable. I did not think we'd make the playoffs. <laughs> wow, okay, that's kind of surprising at least. 37 wins and you make the playoffs. Jimmy Butler turned it up at the end of the season. Oh, excuse me. 21 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 steals. Somehow they make the All-NBA defensive team. But 41% from 3, that's career high. And I think he got a career high field goal percentage. Yes, he did. Jimmy Butler with a career year here in Miami. Dennis Schroeder, second leading scorer, 18. He could be the starting point guard next year. 
I don't know. He's only 26, so he's only getting paid 15 mil. Um, Kevin Love basically put up the same stats he did. And Fournier went down to 14. Uh, we got Justice Winslow at 13. Off Is he off? No, I think he's starting. Um, Hero at 12, off the bench. Um, Muscala with 10 and 5. I wanted to get rid of him, but I guess he's putting in solid 10 points. Out of bio, 10 points, 11 rebounds, a steal and a block and a half. That's very solid for Adebayo. For his first year starting, like for a full season, that's pretty solid. I'm Obviously, I don't want to trade him. I'm going to try and develop him. I want him to become more of a scorer. Maybe fix his shooting like he's doing in real life. But that's a very solid stat line. Melo, 7.5. KCP, 5. Not really much. KZ Opala. What's his overall up to? It has to be up to something pretty high. He's up to a 77. So he is going to be in the rotation next year. And Kyle Alexander is up to a 71. He's probably not even going to play. He's not going to be on the team next year. So since we're in the playoffs, we got a, you know, game plan. KCP is run number three. That really pisses me off. <laughs> we got a game plan. We're going to run an eight-man rotation. I am going to run an eight-man rotation. All right. I'm going to put Schroeder, Hero, and Melo. Yes, Melo's going to be getting some good minutes in the playoffs, surprisingly. We're going to give we're gonna give Schroeder, like, 31 minutes. By all 31, we're going to give that. That. 31 and we'll give Winslow 31 so that's gonna be our playoff I'm, I'm not even gonna sweat it because I know we'll probably lose this series honestly well uh, yeah we might get swept there I wasn't expecting to yeah okay we're gonna get swept and yep swept I wasn't expecting anything different what do the playoff stats look like Butler only 18 a game he shot very good from three but 18 points love with 18 and 13 Love had a very good playoffs. Fournier also had a very good playoffs. Schroeder, 13. He disappointed, man. He really disappointed. Out of bio, 12 points, only 10 rebounds, but two blocks and a steal. All right, out of bio. Winslow put up his normal stat line. Hero only put up nine. Melo, eight. Disappointing, but you can't really expect much from this team. I That's honestly what I expected. I expected a first round exit. I didn't even think we were going to make the playoffs. I was looking to uh, like a top 10 pick I was looking at, but we'll probably have the 15th pick and we're, we're going to be saying good. Maybe I can package that 15th pick, possibly like a Justice Winslow and a KCP. I don't think he's on the contract though for a pretty, pretty decent player, like a shooting guard. So we'll see the Lakers and the, the magic took the Raptors to seven games, but the Lakers are going to sweep the Toronto Raptors and LeBron James is going to win his fourth NBA championship. Going into the offseason now, player retirements, Jamal Crawford, Tyson Chandler, all Udonis Haslam, Vince Carter goes into the Hall of Fame, league meetings, anything I want to do. I want to put the real um drop draft lottery right here. That's why I want to have, because that's in real life. And we I guess we have the 15th pick we're going to have, right? Yeah, 15th pick. Wizards get number one. So since they have the number one pick, we could possibly maybe put a package for John Wall and Bradley Beal I don't know our coaching staff is perfectly fine and no he's declined you ain't getting you do not nope nope uh, we need a CFO actually so we'll get this dude and there we go now it's NBA draft time this is where trades gonna be made Winslow will more than likely be traded all right we gotta get rid of Winslow and KCP but Romeo Langford is good to have at least off the bench i think i'm gonna do this because who am i really gonna draft with that pick instead of this dude can i get like can i get like the 26 pick 22 yeah no that's not happening all right we're just gonna do it for romeo langford there we go we shed C cp3's um contract let's see does no one really okay i say does no one really want winslow wow no, yeah no one wants winslow so shooting guard is really our position to need Oof. I'll give you Evan Fournier. I would take John Wall, but he's still injured. So that ain't happening. Uh, I think... Would they do this? No. Alright. Oh, I don't want to throw in another first round pick. KCP's exception. I don't even know if that adds trade value. Uh, Romeo Langford? You know okay, we got, we got Bradley Beal on the team. I did not think that would happen. So we got big three of Bradley Beal, Jimmy Butler, and Kevin Love. I did not think that would happen. 
Wow. I offered more in the regular season for him, and they didn't even take it. And they took that. Okay, this is a play. We got a big three here. I might even look to trade Kevin Love just because of his contract. Just because of his contract. We do need to re-sign Bradley Beal. All right. So I want to re-sign Dennis Schroeder real quick. All right. We're at training camps. We're going to send Bam to offensive fundamentals. I want to get his shooting up. He's got 33 open shot three. And a 47 open shot mid-range. Dude, that's bad. And we'll send untapped potential to... Should we send it to KZ or... We'll send it to Hero. I don't know why we don't have one more training camp. But it's, it's, I guess we don't. So I'm going to try and re-sign Schroeder. Maybe he'll re-sign this time. And not be a jackass. Schroeder, 10 mil. Let's see. Now he wants 9 mil. He wants 9.5 mil now. Are you kidding me? There we go. Now we re-sign him. Bradley Beal, we're going to try and re-sign. Apparently we signed Lance Stevenson. Blah, blah, blah. So this team, I think this is a possible championship contender. We have a big three like most teams don't have. Uh, Bradley Beal will not be wearing the number three. That's D. Wade's number. I don't know why it's never retired. Uh, Dennis Schroeder, Beal. We, we don't have to worry about being the worst offensive team now since we got Schroeder and Beal running our backcourt. We got Butler who can we saw drop 20. Kevin Love. And off the bench, Hero's going into his second season. We got Trey Burke who can get buckets off the bench. I really don't want to play Zizic, but... I guess I might have to. Uh, I don't want to play Stevenson either. KZ is going to be playing. What are you thinking? KZ is going to be... Uh, I don't want you playing Zidges, to be honest. We're going to give KZ at least 21. Hero's going to get 27. We'll give KZ 21. Trey Burke, 17. And I guess we'll give... 7 minutes to Jeff Green. That's not bad. Um, Bam should not be getting 37 minutes. Alright, that's just not happening. Kevin Love will get 32, but we'll get 35, Beal will get 35, 34, Dennis Schroeder, we'll give that, we'll give 10 minutes to Jeff Green, and there we go, I want Bradley Beal, Jimmy Butler for our scoring options, this team is very, very solid, very good team, power rankings, we should be at least top 10, no, not to 8, 6, and 8, right, yep, very, very good team, alright, very good team, untouchables, no one's there, Still looking for, you know, we don't really need him here. I didn't mean to do that. We don't really need DeMar no more. We, and we're going to have 27 mil next year, but that's without, uh, what you would call it, that's without Bradley Beal's extension. So, Kevin Love could be on the move because the free agency is pretty, pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Uh, can I check? Um, no, not free agent. Uh, one year or less. This is a free agency. And they don't accept their player options. So Paul George could be a player we can go after. And move Beal to point guard if we re-sign him. Yeah, this is a damn good free agency right here. Damn good free agency. Even Chris Paul could be a target. So Kevin Love could be on the move. I'm going to look at, you know, why not? I'm just going to look at offers for him right now. Screw it. And no one. Not really anyone. I need to look for a team that has cap room. And I'd probably trade him in the offseason, to be brutally honest with you. So, I'm going to leave it there. Leave a like if you guys didn't enjoy. Subscribe if you are new. Jabari's on the Cavs now. That's it for me. GG.